time out in a very, very long time. Um, we are at 14th Road in Bernard, New York. It's a brook called Deer Creek. So I guess it's Deer Creek, not a brook. Um, I don't know what is the difference between a brook and a creek and a stream size, right? Anywho, so we're here. Uh, I left the house. There's a little bit of flurries. I arrived here. It is definitely snowing out. Uh, it's going to be an interesting uh, hike through the stream here, and uh, let's see what we can find and uh, see if we can find some uh, good shots to shoot. Uh, I think we're going for black and white today. I think that's the goal, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. If I find some good colors, some oranges that are left over after the fall season, I'll shoot those too. All right, let's uh, get bundled up and ready to go. Here's a nice uh, quick tip for you. November, going out in the woods, wear bright. Reds, oranges, it's hunting season. You gotta protect yourself. All right. I'm gonna do some hunting for photos. Boy, that was corny. All right, first composition of the day. A small little waterfall here. I got some snow, I got some ice. Uh, some good movement right here. All right, so this is what we're looking at. I really like this here. And uh, since we're going black and white, we got some good darks, we got some good brights. Um, I'm gonna take the shot. I've got F11, five seconds, ISO 50. Uh, polarizer is definitely on, as always, when shooting water. Here's the shot out of the camera. All right, hopefully she turned out pretty well, let's see. Okay, so I'm shooting the same waterfall. I've just moved over here. So it's more of a straight on shot versus the side shot. So I can do this without falling. I'm knocking my camera off into the water. All right, so this is what I'm looking at now. Uh, I'm down to 3.2 seconds. ISO is still 50 and F speed is the same, taking the shot. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, there it is, not sure if you can see it, but here's the final result. another spot as I make my way up through the stream there's lots of good spots through here I really like this spot it's uh, I've been here a bunch of times uh, I don't think I've been here when it's snowing I think it's the first time I, I've been here when it snowed but not snowing so here's the other spot it's a little loud here with the water flowing all right I like see if I can do this right here I believe that's it it's the lines you can see the lines here when you slow that down you really see good lines and uh, this, this makes a nice pattern through here and then rushing down through. I think this is going to make a really nice black and white. It's a five second uh, exposure. I bumped it way back down to uh, F11. Not way back down, but down to F11. And then ISO uh, 50. Here we are. That's what it looks like out of camera and out of Lightroom and possibly some Photoshop. Here we go.
Alright, so I'm at the falls at Deer Creek. Uh, pretty good sized falls here. Here they are. In the summertime you can actually hide out underneath those. Water's moving pretty good right now, so that's a good sign. Alright, we're at 5 seconds, F9, ISO 50. Here it is in camera and out of Lightroom, Photoshop, and any other things I need to edit. Here we go. Quick tip for you. Lens hoods are really good for protecting your lens from the snow. Look at that. Yeah, it's still snowing. All right, let's go that way. Now I'm above the big falls. Here's another little fall here. It's a pretty neat little spot. Water comes on through here and then drops and drops, makes its way through. Uh, so what I have in my shop, I got this rock right here, which I like a lot. I like how this water is going behind it. And then obviously this little drop right here. All right, we are at uh, six seconds, F11, ISO 50. Here's the shot, kind of like that. And a little bit of editing. And here we are. above the falls now. This is where the stream flattens out pretty good and um, pretty neat. So it's kind of what we're looking at. The snow stopped. Well, sort of. Little flurries here and there. Uh, it's a little bit brighter up here. What I'm doing is I'm focusing uh, right about here. I'm picking up, uh, I believe it's this rock here. Uh, this, this, this here. And uh, I'm shooting at four seconds, uh, F9, ISO is always 50, or almost always 50 when I shoot. Uh, polarizer again is always on, and I haven't mentioned it, but I've been doing, uh, as always, when I shoot things like this, is a two second delay uh, on my shot. So, here it is. Now, it's pretty funny, this already looks pretty black and white, and that's straight out of camera. So, this might turn out pretty good, a nice black and white shot. shot of the day I'm pretty sure I say that all the time and then they have taking another shot but we'll try it we'll see if it's the last shot very uh, intimate tiny little waterfall all right so this rock that rock this little waterfall right here I'm zoomed in cropped into proud right about here I believe it's always hard to do on the camera here in the video camera but I think it's just cute isn't that weird to say that's uh, a cute waterfall but, hey, I guess I'm weird. So, settings, F9, four seconds. I actually bumped the ISO up to 100, believe it or not. I changed something. All right, here it is. I took the shot, and there it is. And probably gonna go right back to black and white with this too. Hey, 
thanks for watching the video, everyone. If you liked it, give her a thumbs up. Uh, if you really liked it, share it with all your friends. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment uh, if you have any questions, concerns, or want to say good job or, hey, crappy job. Tell me what you like or don't like. Tell me what you want to see differently. Thanks, everybody. Have a great one. Take care.